Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. We are renovating the 131221 Sheik Street apartment, that's a mouthful isn't it, in San Myshuno today, also known as the apartment that was, the, this is where Penny Pizzazz lives essentially and this is one of my favourite apartments to renovate because I really like the size, the shape of it, I love the floor to ceiling windows and I just like the general vibe. I've also figured out in my head, I've, I've done a fair few floor pan, floor pans, floor plans, like different floor plans in this particular apartment block so it's really really versatile but before we get too far into the speed build today I would like to take a moment to thank today's sponsor. I'm so excited to announce that today's video is brought to you by FlexiSpot. Thank you so much for sending me this incredible standing desk. This desk is the E8 model and is custom designed. So we actually have the black legs here with the white top, which I think works so perfectly with my setup. The entire desk is fully height adjustable and it's so, so quiet. You can't even barely hear it going up and down. You also get a seven year warranty with these desks, so you know they're gonna last. And what, another thing that I love about this is that there's an inbuilt cable management system, so you can't see any of the cords from the desk itself. Don't forget to check out FlexiSpot's website if you are interested in getting one of these desks for yourself. I can highly recommend them, and it's definitely stepped up my setup in my own office. Thank you again, FlexiSpot, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so I really wanted this apartment to have a really sort of tranquil neutral vibe whilst also providing that family element so I don't think I've mentioned uh, <laughs> this apartment is two bedrooms and one bathroom but you can actually fit five sims in here so we've got the the two parents we've got an infant so the the infant is in with the parents and then we have a bunk bed in the other children's room so it's really really versatile and I love cramming sims into apartments I don't know what it is I just absolutely love doing that and I'm telling you now this this renovation is definitely a step up from the previous like how this is when you first load up San Myshuna so <laughs> not pack restricted by the way I think I should mention that because I didn't restrict myself with any packs whatsoever so I used a wide variety of different packs to achieve this look but yeah we're currently working on the kitchen area here I actually really love the color scheme of this as well because obviously as you can see the tiling here this is from high school years it matches really perfectly with the fridge I just think it looks really really cute and it's not very often that I tend to go for like a more neutral sort of calm color scheme in apartments I tend to go quite bold and quite colorful with the with the interiors which is which is really really good but sometimes it's nice to try to try different things and new color schemes that's exactly what I did with this obviously I had to put a little rug in front of the cooker because for some reason I always do that I actually have in my own kitchen in real life I have a rug like a runner rug in front of the in front of the kitchen and then another one in front of the dishwasher they are machine washable they're not like fluffy or anything but I don't know I think uh, my my building in the sims has now transpired into my house in real life <laughs> so it's just really really funny anyway I digress, I digress. This is where we start working on the little living area here. I do end up going for this swatch because again, it ties in really, really nicely with the sort of like bluish theme that we've got going on. I wouldn't say it's heavily blue, but there's definitely a theme of it. There's definitely an undercurrent. So I wanted to try and tie everything in and just make everything seem really, I don't know, like color coordinated. Sometimes it's really nice to do color coordinated builds as well. <laughs> it's not su it's not like super matchy matchy in here because I do end up adding some clutter pieces because when I decided I was gonna cram in five sims into this apartment, I wasn't initially thinking that at all. I was initially thinking maybe we're gonna have two parents and then a child. And then I was like, nah, let's, let's just try and do as many as we possibly can. <laughs> but anyway, it is a little bit cramped. It is a little bit cramped, but from what I've seen, I, I know that you can get like these stunning, huge open plan, like apartments in sky rise buildings or whatever. But from what I've seen, I think most apartments are slightly on the smaller side and there's nothing wrong with that. I absolutely love trying to like decorating small spaces in real life and also in the Sims. I think it's absolutely wonderful. So I do think when I'm doing apartment renovations in the Sims, I try and keep things relatively realistic. I'm not saying my builds are super realistic because they're definitely not. <laughs> but when it comes to floor plans for apartments, 
I like to try and keep things relatively, relatively like down to earth. <laughs> anyway, there's not a lot of clutter in this build either actually. I feel like I should be giving myself a pat on the back for this because I'm normally a bit of a clutter queen and I absolutely adore putting clutter into my Sims builds. But for some reason with this one, I think because of the, of the space situation and I definitely wanted to make sure that it was functional as an actual build so this is fully play tested everything was perfectly fine on my end I didn't want to overdo anything because I think what you can do if you do that is you make the space look even smaller and then obviously when if you do have five sims in here there's nothing worse than just having stuff everywhere and like sims are trying to clamber over stuff to to, to get to other things other places anyway this is the bathroom it's actually when I was looking at this I was like oh this this is quite a large bathroom isn't it but I think considering the five sim situation in here it kind of needed to be and it was also really important for me to get a shower bath combination in here because then obviously with the infant and then with them being a toddler etc it's really important that they were able to have a bath so that was really important and then I just end up cluttering up some of the the walls with some really really cute clutter pieces and then we do move on to the hallway yes I'm fully aware that this is a very very odd shape but look I was working with what I got okay <laughs> it's, um, again I think it's quite realistic I don't think hallways are always just straight up and down I think sometimes they have corners and nooks and crannies and yeah I just think I think this this looks super nice so then we do move on to the main bedroom here I do actually use the bed from the horse ranch pack which I wasn't expecting to do at all when I started this apartment I was like oh I'll probably end up choosing something quite modern but I think it looks really really nice I do end up changing the swatch as we sort of move on with this room but I really like how this room turned out and it's that's quite unusual for me because my main bedrooms are not my strong suit I'm definitely more equipped and better at doing like kids rooms or toddlers rooms or nurseries I just think main bedrooms can be a little bit boring and I know full well that's because I make them quite boring. I just think, oh, well, I'll just throw it together because it's not my favourite room to do. But I think I'm get, trying to get the hang of it at the moment. So next step is tackling back gardens in my house builds because my back gardens are either non-existent or just like really bad <laughs> sort of no in between but anyway I've just rambled on through that whole entire section of this lovely room but we do have a built-in wardrobe as well which I thought was quite a neat idea because we had this weird jut out bit and I thought do you know what I think we should put a built-in wardrobe because it's not something that I use very often in my build so I did decide to do that this is where the little cot's going for the infant and I was like oh look how cute this is and then I used this rug from the horse ranch pack look how cute it is I haven't been able to use that yet so I wanted this little corner to just be for the infant I wanted it to just be really really cute and I think we got there with that I think it looks really sweet and then I try and put a little rocking chair in here so that your sims can rock the baby to sleep but unfortunately your sims were not able to get around the chair so I ended up pulling out this one from the horse ranch pack again because it matches with the bed so I thought that looked really sweet and I thought your sims can still sit here with the infant they just can't rock them so I was like it doesn't really matter it's absolutely fine what you could do is you could maybe put a rocking chair in the living room if you wanted to but it's just not sort of what I sort of had in mind for this <laughs> and then I do end up pulling out a lot of infant clutter uh, I know we I say recently it's been a few well it was I think it was at the start of summer wasn't it when we got the uh, the base game update for the for the infant clutter and stuff so I do end up just nipping back into the living area and adding some bits there just to make it quite apparent that there is an infant living in this in this uh, in this apartment so then look at this cute little picture frame above the the chair it's so sweet it's from growing together and it's like the two handprints from the baby I think it's really really sweet and then we've got some books here so I don't really know how these work personally uh, someone may have to tell me because I'm not entirely sure how they work in terms of gameplay I know toddlers can get books out of there but I don't know if like the parents can actually get a book out and read it to a, an infant I'm, I'm not entirely sure anyway we're moving on to the final room of the apartment this is where the two kids are and I use the bunk beds from the horse ranch pack who would have thought who would have thought I'd be using so many items from that pack in an apartment build? Just goes to show how versatile the build and buy is with that pack. But then, yeah, we, we end up just, 
having a little bit of a play around with some of the curtains and I tried to cram in as much as I could in this room because I kind of wanted the kids to have their own space where they could come and do some activities and things like that. I didn't have room for a desk unfortunately. I think I probably could have squeezed one in if I wanted to. If you, if you want to add a desk then please feel free. I just end up adding like this really really slim line wardrobe from I think it's from Growing Together is that and it's so handy for smaller bedrooms. I just think it's fantastic. It's probably one of the one of the best wardrobes that we actually have in the game like the size is really nice but also the style and all the color swatches are really nice too so yeah this is where we had some wall decor pieces we had some toys in here there's like a little activity table like a crafts table so the kids can like make the things for like Christmas and Halloween and stuff like you know like the hanging cards so I thought that was really sweet and then I was gonna put a plant here and then I thought no let's just try and utilize and maximize this space to within an inch of its life so that we can actually make sure that the space is functional but also you know full of activities for the kids yeah this is where we had the wall decor pieces and i just think it ends up looking really really cute but that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you enjoyed this i very much had a blast doing this apartment like i said at the beginning if you've got any more apartments that you would like me to renovate then please drop me a comment down below but if you would like to download this apartment for yourself it's available to download from the gallery my origin id is rachel ped tray files as always are linked down in the description box below you can get them for free from sim file share thank you so much once again to flexispot for sponsoring today's video and for giving me this beautiful desk i absolutely love it i hope you all enjoyed this video you all take care and i will see you again very soon bye mm -hmm.